Alright guys, welcome back to another video of KingX.X coming to you guys with a brand new video and today in this video I have a I have something really to talk about mainly because if you guys seen by the title Well, you guys will know that Sledgehammer Games is actually going to be adding Weekly updates on Call of Duty World War 2 now that is very exciting because honestly Call of Duty really isn't that transparent if you guys cannot tell already and they don't really tell us exactly what they're working on and really we haven't had updates ever since mainly if it's like something to do with weapon balancing like such as buffs and nerfs and they don't really do much really besides obviously like fixing weapons and stuff so there's like nothing that they tell about and then next thing you know they have these little secret updates but they really don't say much about them and they're always just kind of like coded pretty much so they actually came out with an article and it's introducing Sledgehammer Games weekly community update. Each week we'll be giving you the lo the lowdown and upcoming changes and status updates on Call of Duty, multiplayer, and zombies. As well as sharing some awesome community highlights and content that you are all are creating yourselves. Plenty of community driven initiatives are on the horizon. And we're committed to working with you to make Call of Duty World War 2 even better. Now, I'll actually leave the article down below because there are some things that they actually talked about that they are looking at and actually trying to fix, which is a very good thing because this game, obviously, not every Call of Duty is perfect. And, of course, there are some issues that, of course, need to be fixed. And some of them they've already noticed and they also need to add something, which, obviously, is paint jobs. So I really want them to talk about that at one point in one of these weekly updates. So, yeah. But look for our updates each week and we'll keep the memes, artwork, and gameplay kits coming our way. Now, I'm not really going to talk about their artwork, game clips, and all that. I'm going to talk mainly about their weekly multiplayer update. There are some zombie things, but if you guys want to check out zombies, of course you guys can down below. As I said, there's an article that talks about multiplayer and zombies because it's going to be weekly updates on Call of Duty World War 2 about what they're doing and possibly even a weekly update every single week would be super exciting, especially for YouTubers who make content like I do. Now, Double Double Weekend, that's right, from now until Monday, February 12th at 10 a.m. Pacific Time, enjoy double XP and double weapon XP on all game modes. That actually started, I think, yesterday on Friday, so if you guys wanted to actually play that and you guys did not know about that, well, now you know that you have until February to get double XP and double weapon XP. Of course, that is mainly because they're just being nice to us and giving us that. Prop Hunt is also back. Seriously though, thank you for all the support that you've shown us on our new game mode. We read and the feedback on the mode and are excited to have brought it back this week. Together with the team at Raven, the week 3 of the Resistance Community Event. Enjoy until Tuesday, February 13th at 10am Pacific Time. So that's pretty awesome as well. If you guys liked Prop Hunt, well Prop Hunt is back so you guys can actually enjoy that. And also Demolition was also added as well. We're very excited about the Demolition coming back this week. We've heard this community loud and clear and it's made an epic return. We'll also read all of the threads with your constructive feedback. And we are taking into consideration our diehard team of demo devs are out there for this wild from now until Tuesday, February 13th at 10 a.m. Pacific Time. Be on the lookout for our Sledgehammer Games clan tag. So I'm guessing if you guys see SHG, maybe that might be somebody who works for Sledgehammer Games or somebody's just trying to troll you. Either one, but that's pretty cool as well. Now, what I really want to talk about, though, is War, Ranked Play, Flat Gun Event, and Community Playlist, also Prestige Token as well. These are the main ones that you guys actually want to hear about. Those were kind of just some things that they actually added. But really where the updates go is War Mode XP. Let's talk about it. Many of you have said and you've noticed a difference in match XP awarding rates. We are, wake, we are working with Raven to investigate and keep an eye out for any inconsistencies there. Stay tuned for more info on this. Now, I play War a lot. I'm not sure if it's just me, but War is probably my favorite game mode in World War II. And honestly, I've actually started to realize kind of a trend... In recent Call of Duties, there's always that one game mode that I really enjoy a lot. And Uplink and Advanced Warfare was easily my favorite. It was the first time we ever had Uplink. We also had Safeguard from Black Ops 3, easily one of my favorite modes of all time. And now we have War and Call of Duty World War 2. I just thought I would kind of tell you guys because it's kind of crazy to think that, honestly, a new game mode is easily one of my favorite. I think War is really, really fun, and I actually like how they've actually done it so far this year. So I'm super excited to actually see if it ever returns back into another Sledgehammer game. 
But yeah, so XP has not been the greatest either. I mean, most of the times I've been getting 20 to 25,000 XP every game, and that's without double XP. And then sometimes with double XP, maybe it's like 30,000, but honestly, it is very inconsistent. Sometimes I get a bunch of kills, defense, and I'll get less XP than I got with maybe 30 kills, which makes no sense at all. And I'm actually hoping that they'll actually fix this because it was working really great, especially during double XP. At one point, I was getting like 40,000 XP, and next thing you know, the next game, I'd do exactly the same thing, and I'd get like 14k. And that kind of makes no sense, so I'm actually glad that they're actually trying to look into that. Because this game's XP is very inconsistent, if you guys cannot tell already. But hopefully they'll actually fix that. Now we have rank play. Good news, we are working on implementing four person party soon. We'll let you know when. Thanks for bearing with us. We fine tune and build our new aspects of rank play. That's pretty cool as well if you guys actually play rank play. You, in the first season, you guys wouldn't even be able to party up. And now you're actually looking into four person parties, so that's pretty cool. Flat gun event, as many of you already noticed, there's a new fun thing for you to do in the HQ. In case you're wondering where varying amounts of armory credits awarded, the amounts vary based on participation and success of shooting down crates. Grab as many players as you can and check it out. The timing, however, is elusive. So they really don't know exactly how long it's going to take until they actually know how long it will be till we get a flat gun event. Maybe it'll be like every 30 minutes, every 40 minutes, every 20. Who exactly knows? Maybe once an hour. I've not actually played in this flat gun event at all. So I'm kind of wondering whenever I'll get a chance. I guess it's kind of random at the moment. But armory credits, I think I saw at one point, it was like 90 armory credits or something like that. So it's really, really bad, and hopefully they'll actually fix that. Just because it is an event, that it's pretty cool. Custom community playlist, innovation, and creation is what we're all about here. And the deal will come with good news, long list of map mode combinations based on existing offerings. And we're going to let you chime in on your favorites. The narrow down list of top picks will go into the customized community playlist created by you. Keep an eye out for our Reddit post kicking this off very soon. So there's going to be a place to actually play, let's say, Cap the Flag, Demolition, maybe even Gun Game. They'll all go into that community playlist, maybe even Prop Hunt if they actually keep it as a permanent game mode. So that'll be pretty cool. I could actually see exactly what they could do with that, and I have a few ideas what they could do. So that would be really awesome if they could actually kind of look into that. That would be pretty cool. Have a brand new playlist. And the very last one is Prestige Token Last Chance Prompt. It's a total bummer to accidentally spend your, arm, your token when you didn't want to. We've seen feedback from you. And now asking for a last chance message to make sure you confirm that you use those tokens. That's why we're excited to share that we are actively working on a feature for this. Stay tuned for more info. So if you guys actually go into prestige token and you prestige and you pick a certain weapon or something. It literally just buys the weapon immediately. It doesn't let you know. Maybe you clicked A or X by accident or something. And you know it kind of just messes up for you. So you kind of get salty and you're like I didn't pick that weapon. And now you're kind of stuck with it. So, at least they're adding a new button to actually allow you, or like, just a new area to allow you if you guys want to confirm that. But that is pretty much all of this new updates. If you guys actually did enjoy this, let me know your thoughts and opinions. As I said, the article is down below. And that was actually a lot of reading, but a lot of good information that will be coming very soon to World War II. I'm super excited about this. As I said, if you guys did like the video, make sure to like subscribe and comment you guys do you want to see next i will post more world war ii videos in the future and yeah guys i'm out